Imagine this. It's the year 2040 and you've had a bad day at work. You're at the grocery store picking up some beer, vegetables, and meat to grill out. You get to the automated checkout, scan your items, and prepare to pay. But before that could happen, the terminal states, My readings indicate you're showing early signs of depression. You will need approval from a licensed physician to purchase any alcohol today. Please insert your ID chip to pay for your other items. What just happened? Are you actually depressed or were you just having a bad day? And how did the machine recognize it? We'll get into this in today's episode. If you like science but don't have time to read academic studies, subscribe. We're glad you're here. It's not really being talked about, but new research lays the foundation for technology that will be able to monitor human emotions in stores, doctor's offices, airports, and on the street. Last month, researchers from the U.S. published details of a new machine learning program they built. It can read a target individual's emotional state based on how they walk. The program extracts a person's gait from a video of them walking. It then analyzes it and compares it to a database of predefined walking styles. It classifies the person as one of four emotions, happy, sad, angry, or neutral. Complementing this discovery is another paper published two weeks ago. Researchers in South Korea and Switzerland taught their own machine how to recognize human emotions by analyzing the context clues of a situation. These include hand movements of a person, how close they are to another person, and the type of environment they're in. The machine combines these clues with a subject's facial expressions to determine their emotional state. Scientists trained it by having it watch thousands of scenes from TV shows like Friends. In this example, the program analyzes a scene where Rachel finds Monica after running out on her wedding. It splits Rachel into two streams of data to determine her emotions, in this case, surprise and relief. Another example is the show Sex and the City. You can see here how the machine was trained by splitting the human subjects into two pieces, face and hand movements. These findings are major leaps in emotion recognition, which had previously been limited to facial and voice analysis. It has us wondering, it's really not hard to imagine a future where machines that deliver our mail, scan our groceries, and drive our taxis are also able to read our posture and facial movements to figure out how we're feeling. But there's a serious application too, surveillance. A journalist, paraphrasing a co-author of the body language study, writes, Models such as theirs could be used to detect anomalous behaviors or walking pattern from videos or CCTV footage. For instance, identifying individuals who are at risk of suicide and alerting authorities or healthcare providers. We understand why security companies and governments would want this technology. It could be used at airports to track people showing odd body language, for example. The U.S. TSA is already testing basic facial recognition cameras that match airport passengers with their IDs. It's not a stretch to think officials would one day want to expand the program. And don't get us wrong, cameras that identify individuals at risk of suicide, for example, could save lives. But at what cost? There will be those who think this technology should protect us from, well, all aspects of ourselves there's potential for overreach. Angry at work? You may be on a watch list. Visibly disagree with a politician at a rally? Watch list. Want to buy a beer after a particularly hard day at work? Denied if you're showing signs of depression. All of those scenarios are possible and eerily mirror the world George Orwell warned about in his novel 1984. In that story, machines monitored people's body language, speech patterns, and facial expressions to determine if they were, quote, thought criminals. Individualism and free speech were casualties of technology. This may sound like overdramatization, but surveillance has real psychological impacts. A 2016 study found people were more likely to self-censor their own behavior when they knew they were being watched. An older study from the mid-90s found employees who were electronically monitored reported higher levels of anxiety, depression, anger, health complaints, and fatigue. So what can we do about this? Well, we're not in this dystopian world yet. To avoid it, 
it may be important that individuals demand limits on emotion recognition technologies. Perhaps we ask our state and local representatives to adopt laws that regulate the types of programs used. A doctor using the technology to discover risk factors in patients? Maybe that's acceptable. Cameras monitoring how you're feeling based on your body language when you walk your dog? That could have more harmful psychological effects. But ultimately, it's for all of us to decide what we want. It's just important there's awareness so we can properly debate the pros and cons of the technology. Share with others so they're aware of how machine learning is evolving. Links to studies are in the description below.